Hello, I'm Graham Blakey from Consult to Deliver. We are based in Nottingham, a city located in the centre of the UK. We offer clinical and regulatory solutions for the healthcare and bioscience sectors. In this brief presentation, I'd like to give you an overview of why CMAX is important in drug development. CMAX describes the maximum drug plasma concentration observed after an extravascular dose. The parameter value is taken directly from the concentration time curve. It is though an artifactual parameter in that it is dependent on the blood sampling regimen used. Therefore, it is an approximation to the true value. Clearly, we cannot take continuous blood samples from subjects as we do not wish to make them anemic. When designing a sampling regimen, samples need to be placed at time points close to where the expected Cmax is thought to occur. Careful consideration of previous pharmacokinetic data is therefore required. Cmax is important when considering effective plasma concentrations, particularly when the drug has a narrow therapeutic window, such as the antiepileptic drug carbamazepine. Here, the aim of therapy, from a PK perspective, is to ensure that Cmax is around 4 to 12 micrograms per mil. Patients on carbamazepine require therapeutic drug monitoring to ensure that Cmax does not exceed therapeutic levels, thereby leading to adverse events and the potential withdrawal of treatment. Conversely, if the Cmax of the antidepressant drug fluoxetine exceeds 500 nanograms per mil, therapeutic response diminishes. In early phase development, Cmax can be related back to exposure observed in toxicology studies so that safety margins can be estimated. Thank you for your attention. For more information about the services offered by Consult to Deliver, please visit our website or contact us via email.